so it's sunny today um, <laughs> but it's also very cold that's why I'm wearing this jacket um, although stomping through the woods soon gets you very warm um, <laughs> but um, I'm going to go down to the same area uh, but if there's nothing no signs of anything I think I'll just have a little wander around again I think that's the best approach at the moment because as I said I don't think that's actually being used as a settlement so uh, anyway I'm going to keep it brief let's go down there and sort s s see it so there's no signs of anything going on around here um, I'll just uh, focus that back in I've been looking all around oops and there's been nothing there has been actually he's probably still there the chap up on top of the um, lookout area there he's still um, hanging around but I think that's a scout that's just his just, uh, job is just to keep an eye on, on what I'm doing. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to take a wander around. Um, as I say, I've lost, slightly lost faith in this area. <laughs> so this is a pretty typical... Um, um, settlement area you can see the hopefully see the nail shells and bits and bobs piled up there's little little telltale signs lying around there's down here there's a bit of um this looks like a section of um of um a, like a walkway that they use strung up between trees. I don't know what's doing here. Maybe they hadn't finished it. Um, actually, I'll just show you that. I might as well show you that. That's quite interesting. It's some um, gum string, and uh, which is a. So this is an example of a piece of walkway, and as I say, it's also a good example of this material, which is gum string, made of. Uh, wool fibres are then bound together with this compound that they make from uh, well birds feces and tree sap and various other things it makes it very strong and um, so they'd, they'd walk along there and I'd imagine that this was because there aren't any of these around that I've seen in this area so this could well be um, I'll just put it back actually um, although I'll go out of focus as I go up here well, I should leave it really could have been a project for a young Morsu learning the um, the skills uh, or something like that sorry it's out of focus I know it will be because I focused it in close to the camera and being watched by um, up on the ledge I'll just get out the way so you can if you can see just up there I won't stare directly because it might make him run off um, so I thought I might try to find one of those walkways um, I know an area where there were some that was a long time ago they don't last that long um, is he still there no <laughs> um, what was I saying Oh yes, uh, walkways. Let's um, yeah, let's take a wander down to the other part of the woods. Got lost. <laughs> uh, I came down from that way, and then I'm here now, and I don't recognise. It's been a while since I've been here, so I don't really, don't really remember where to go. Well, I don't remember this bit anyway. Um, there's a valley down, well, I'll show you on the camera, there's, not that you can help me, but um, uh, there's, 
there's a sort of deep valley bit going down there downwards and all around and um, and I can't remember sorry I'm right it's in front behind the tree uh, I can't remember where I'm meant to be going to get to the walkways I keep hearing um, buzzards which uh, the morsu won't like that I'm still uh, lost, effectively. Uh, um, it's quite gloomy down here. I, it's down in the valley, and I really don't know. Um, well, I don't know where, where to go to the, get to the walkways, and I don't know. I feel like I've gone such a windy track that I don't know really which way to go back, either. So a bit of a grim discovery here, but uh, fascinating nonetheless. It's a full skeleton of a deer. Uh, quite rare to find a full skeleton. I've found skulls before, but here's the jaw bones and then there's the spinal column going down there, all the ribs and scapula and things. They've all been pulled apart. Uh, so it looks like they've been scavenged. Wouldn't have been by the Morsu. They would have taken these bones. Bones like this are prized possessions for them. Um, they use them for decorating around the the cave so probably just a fox I'd imagine interesting uh, though nonetheless just found another skull <laughs> single one this time and it's quite clean and uh, looks like it's been out bleached in the sun for a while so I'm going to take that the Morsu will be very pleased with that and uh, just need to put it in my bag I don't really want to just put it straight in so I might I was thinking I might put it inside my packet of flying saucers. <laughs> Take them out first, obviously. I would want to eat them after being in there with that. But um, yeah, Muntjac deer skull. Uh, very pleased to find two in one day. I'm starting to uh, starting to think that getting lost wasn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> so I'm still lost. Still boiling hot. But I just found something which I, 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 I cannot believe the coincidence of finding this on the same day that I've just been talking about how delighted I was to find two um, deer skull skeletons and I find a full skeleton of, of a fox. And um, this is the reason why I know that the, the Morsu aren't around because even that tooth there would be enormously valuable to them. That's the sort of thing that a, a, only a shaman or, or, or a tribal leader would have. And to have a full skull, let alone a full skeleton, uh, I don't know why this is all happening around here. And um very tempted to, to take that, but unfortunately I don't have enough baby wipes to, or, or um, let alone bags, to carry it all in. But doesn't help that I'm lost so I don't know if I'll be able to find my way back so I have to decide what to do. It's too much walking for one day. <laughs> Boiling. Um, anyway I found the edge of the wood. I'm not quite sure where I am but um, I'll follow it round and, and uh, quite relieved to get out but I'm glad that I did get lost because of those skeletons and I hope I can find my way back to the uh, fox one because I really wish I'd taken that now I should have just I have a well anyway um, cheerio I'll pretend to walk off and then I'll come back and get the camera 